Hey guys, welcome to Gadgets Portal. This is Shukesh Bonik and as you know, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is a wonderful phone. The battery backup is also decent, but just by following some simple tricks, you can enhance the battery backup, especially when you are traveling and I hope that you will find this video quite helpful. Well, while traveling, if you see that you are out of the network range, then do turn off the phone. At least go to flight or airplane mode because that time the phone searches for the network with its whole power and that eats up a lot of battery juice. If the signal is weak, then also the battery backup becomes lower. Now this Note 3 can move installed apps data to the external SD card. But if you have enough space in the internal storage, then don't do this. If the micro SD card inserted is not a very high speed one, then that also hampers the speed of the phone. Try to save only music, video and image files to the external SD card. If you press and hold this home key, you can get this task manager and you can clear the RAM from time to time. I have the Exynos version of Note 3, that's why the used RAM is quite high. The Snapdragon 1 that is the US version is much better in this department. By the way, the process I have shown you kills all the running applications in the background including system applications and after a while, few system applications come back including live wallpapers and widgets. Here in the notification panel, sometimes you get unnecessary messages and ads from the apps in your phone. So what you can do is to turn off this show notification option, otherwise those applications will always use your data and eat up a lot of battery power. Next, the display of this Note 3 is huge and eats up a lot of battery. In fact, when you use this phone for a long time, then the display uses is even more than the Android OS. So you should check these couple of settings. First of all, set the screen mode to this adapt display. With the help of the RGB sensor, the phone will set proper color tone to the display in accordance with the lighting condition in the ambience. You should also check this auto adjust screen tone. This specifically save power by adjusting the screen tone according to analysis of images. You should also set the brightness to auto and the screen timeout to 15 or 30 seconds. Now under the S Pen settings, you should check this first option. This option will disable the S Pen detection when the pen is inside the slot and this will save battery. Well, Note 3 supports a lot of cool motion controlled gestures and air view, air command, air gesture, etc. If you really need some good battery backup, then you should turn all of this off. At least turn off the smart screen because in this mode, the front camera remains on all the time. This phone supports voice control over the camera, lock screen, dialer, music player, etc. So for better battery performance, you should turn this off as well. There is a power saving mode in the settings and this mode basically lower the CPU performance to give you better battery backup. But if you are gaming then you should turn this off otherwise you may feel some lag. Use this feature only when the battery level is below 30%. From the toggle menu you can also turn off this auto screen rotation for better battery backup. On your phone try to set a dark wallpaper and avoid live wallpapers. Widgets, especially live widgets, also eats up considerable amount of battery. So try to set as minimum as possible on the home screen. If you have set couple of accounts in your phone, then turn off the auto sync option. Otherwise, they will eat up considerable amount of battery. The most important settings I am going to show you now. These location services may eat up around 50% of your battery if you keep it turned on all the time. So turn it on only when you need it. Otherwise, do turn this off. You should turn off your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, especially Wi-Fi hotspot and NFC mobile data etc. when not needed. You can install battery saving apps like Juice Defender and background app cleaner like CleanMaster. You can also follow some thumb rules for a long lasting battery. Like you can keep away the phone from hot areas or direct sunlight. Do not turn off the phone with low battery and for the first time charge the battery fully before use. 
one thing you should know that when you buy a new phone the battery usually takes few weeks to settle so at first you may not get that much good battery backup but the battery will improve day by day so don't worry well i know that it is impossible to follow all of these steps i have shown you but if you can follow some of these then you can get a very good battery backup and especially when you are traveling then you can get at least 30 percent more battery backup just by following all of these tricks i have shown you that's all for today guys i hope that you have found this video quite helpful you can check the description of this video for more reviews and more tricks on this new note 3 this is Shukesh Bonik and thanks for watching.